Aloha, y'all. Welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today's haul includes the Antique Gallery of Mesquite, which is the mall that our antique booth is in. We took my mom to see it for the first time and we had a great time shopping as well. And we also went to the Second Chance Treasure Warehouse, which we have shown you in a vlog before. Uh, you can get some really great deals there and it's kind of like a little honey hole here in Dallas. So check it out, enjoy, and give us a like if you like this style of video. So let's go check it out. All right, here's the beautiful spread. Let's start at the bottom. These are some Koi Fish magazines, Koi USA. And the reason why I got them is because our antique mall has a little quarter section. I guess items that no one wants to sell anymore in their booths and just get rid of. And it's one of my favorite places to go because I can find some cool things. And I like koi fish, <laughs> but I picked them up because there's not many online and the ones that are online go for about 10 bucks. So I think I'm going to put these in a lot of three for 25 bucks just to see what happens. And you know, it was 25 cents a piece, so that's a great deal. These are also 25 cents each and they will probably be to keep. <laughs> they were purchased in the same aisle as our booth, but they were 75% off. So these cute little candles were 25 cents each. We have passion fruit Prosecco, <laughs> Prosecco, salted toffee, coastal tides. Watermelon Granita! Patchouli Swine! Oh my mom! And Fig Eucalyptus! 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 Anyways, great deal for all of those. So that was like less than three bucks, and only two of them need a little tender love and care because they're a little messed up. But that's okay, we're all a little messed up, aren't we? Oh. Now this I thought was super cute. It's a hobgoblin mug. And it's actually for a brewery. However, I realize it's broken on the handle. So you know what? Instead of selling this, I'm gonna keep it as a, a Halloween decoration. It's my favorite uh, holiday to decorate for. And yeah, I just think it's really cute. If it wasn't cracked, it could go between 15 and 30. I know that's a big difference, but uh, no solds the past 30 days, but on Terra Peak there are. I just really think it's quirky and cool. And it was like three bucks. Next, for a dollar, we have our own little personal collection of these glasses made in Mexico uh, from Sarah, what's it called? It's like Sarah, C-E-R-A. And this is just like a local brewery or a local area of Dallas called Deep Ellum. They also have a brewery, which these might have come from, but this is a Christmas one. And now we have like four different types and it, it just goes with our little collection. Um, this is a cologne that we bought to flip. It was less than $2 at the, the discounts. Fabergé, which I know. Uh, Kiku and it is unopened y'all the little foil seal is still sealed. I can show you Oh look at me doing that one-handed. I love it. This recently sold opened for $32.99 Ooh, and it has that old cologne smell Don't we love it? I think it's a cute little bottle. So that will hopefully be a great flip. Next, we got some media, and this one is super cool. I asked my friend Jason T. Smith, who is really big into flipping cassettes and media, and he has never seen this before, and I can't find any pictures online or on eBay, and it's Reunion Records can set. First of all, I like vintage food stuff, <laughs> but this is a cassette in a can. Are you kidding me? This was less than $2 as well. I almost want to put it up for auction. We don't do very many auctions, so we'll see. But my brother has been doing great on auctions. So it's kind of encouraged me to try some serving size as much as you can swallow in one sitting, amen? And I love this warning. Microwaving can set could give a whole new meaning to the phrase, a hot cassette. Now, it does have a barcode, but it didn't pop up. Ingredients, one full length cassette, 
with the following artists. So here's who is on it. I recognize some of them. And yeah, one dollar off coupon and clothes good towards the purchase of any reunion cassette album or video. That's really, really cool. I love it and I'm curious to find more information about it. Now these were also at the checkout of the Antique Gallery in Mesquite and Matthew was just flipping through and they were 25 cents each. This goes for $19.99 many times over um, in the solds. Rick Astley of Rick Roll. And yeah, it's really, really cool to find that for 25 cents. I'm encouraged to sell, you know, more media when I get things like that. So good job, Matthew. Now, here are some other cassettes that Matthew scanned and they were deemed good enough to pick up. Now, the solds are kind of low, but everything else listed is high, at least over $10. So for 25 cents, that's pretty good. Next, for a dollar, I picked up this adorable little creamer. Look at these hand-painted mushrooms on it. Adorable from L. Allen. Uh, so someone just painted it and I think it's super cute and it'll probably stay in my collection But eventually wind up on eBay. I'm sure now these were six dollars total for both This we scanned it is a hallmark Ornament power box. It's really heavy. That's what it looks like. I'm sure a lot of you collect hallmark like I do I love it and yeah, it was $12 but half off. I wish they wouldn't have written on the box, but no big deal. But this can go for about $19.99 free shipping. So at least 15 bucks probably for that. And it came with this. I think it's really pretty. It only goes for about $8. So I might keep that and eventually sell it on the booth, at the booth. Love picking up Hallmark keepsake ornaments and I collect them. Next is this Craw Gator wooden puzzle very unique i think it was three or four dollars i can't find any online and i just thought it was interesting i have found like a shirt and a beer can and it's you know advertising for i think a brand and there it is 1983 a cheetah or cheetah but i thought that was neat and here are some pillsbury unopened chapsticks we have caramel rolls and maple burst pancakes. Now I scanned them and there's none on eBay, none in past solds, I can't find them. So you bet sure, bippy, that we're gonna put those up on eBay. So I love selling things like that, it's so quirky. And the person whose booth we got this from, they have so many Pillsbury items and they have for years and it's just really cool to go through their booth. All right, here is my favorite item of the day. This was at the antique mall for 30 bucks, but let me tell you, it was worth it. First of all, I'm really big into tiki. And this is almost like, well, it's a designer, handcrafted, almost lacquer tray. I don't know exactly how to describe this, but we looked it up online. There's none in this pattern, but it's by an artist named Annie Modica. And there are trays that go between 75 and 150. Since Tiki is kind of in right now and desirable, I think it could go for upwards in that range, but we want to keep it because let's take a look at it. You have just cocktail art. And I love ephemera like menus and tailored to tropical thirst flavor that the chill can't kill. So yeah, let's take a look at this together. I love it. Voodoo Grog. And on the back, it's even cooler. It's very well made and it's interesting to me. Sorry about the glare, but you see a Tiki, bar, a tiki Bob right there. There's some more Tiki advertising. Hula Hut. Look, it's signed by Annie Modica and it's called Martinis. So it's not technically all Tiki, but I just love, I just love it. I just love it, love it, love it. And I love how it's signed in, you know, gold Sharpie or whatever. And $30 seems like a lot, but it's worth it. Let me know what you think of it. The last thing I got from the antique mall for $16 
are these McDonald's Hawaii glasses. I think that's, I just am in love with them. Let's take a look. You have the boat and the water and the birds. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And I think they're all different. Let's check. Yeah, this one's different. Ooh, you can tell it's uneven at the bottom, but that's okay. We're all uneven at the bottom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my goodness. The dogs are chasing a fly. We like to call flies sky raisins. <laughs> I know that's silly. Let's take a look at the last one. Ooh, I like that. Anyways, the cool thing about these, and technically these were $4 a piece, you know, and I've never found them in a thrift store. They're not rare. But the thing I liked about it is it has this really cool original box. It's not in the best condition, but what was very interesting to me is that you could send them to people from McDonald's as a souvenir, a souvenir from Hawaii, almost like a postcard. So you would just write the addresses here. Isn't that neat from McDonald's Hawaii? Let me know if you had these growing up or something like that. And I wonder if they had it for other places, not just Hawaii. So yeah, that was one of my favorite finds too. And now I wanna look out for them at the thrift store. Okay, the rest of these items were bought at the Second Chance Treasures Warehouse where all proceeds go to puppies and kitties in need of adoption or help. And that's where we got our Henry and Benjamin. So we love shopping there. What they do is you get all the stuff that you want and you go up to the register and they give you a price and usually it's like a dollar or less per item unless it's art or something like that or a specialty item. So I can't even tell you what we paid. It was less than a dollar each item, just know that. Um, I just found two books that were interesting to me. I think this can go between 15 and 20. Pennsylvania German Illuminated Manuscripts Really, really cool, um, yeah, to people who would enjoy that. I don't know what else to say about that, but I did scan it, and it looked to me worth picking up. I think it was a dollar, because I think they do have books for a dollar. The gift to be simple. I just love this shaker song uh, from Aaron Copeland, or we did it in marching band. Anyways, <laughs> he didn't originate the tune, but it is a shaker song but I recognized it, so I got it. These things are things we wanna put in our antique booth. You know, cause everyone needs like a random pottery goose, right? This is probably hobbyist piece, but it might be cute for somebody. <laughs> and it was probably 50 cents or less. This I thought was interesting. I need to do more research. Look at her, giving you the side eye. Hand painted by Jana Laxa from the Laxa family, 1968. And it has this weird little seal and you hang it. So I, I wanna look more into that. That might go up on eBay. You know, just one single solitary fish. Maybe he can go with his buddies up there. No, but it'll go in the antique booth for probably cheap, probably $3. You know, sometimes I collect salt and pepper if they're cute enough, even though they don't have their partner almost as a figurine. But here are some bracelets Matthew picked up. And I'm getting into jewelry a little bit lately. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm like, I'll never learn if I don't purchase some and research and yeah, maybe because I don't wear a lot of jewelry. But I thought these were cute. I really like this one. I think we could sell this one for a decent profit. And I like the sound it makes, ready? Y'all are probably screaming, don't play with the jewelry. Uh, these are just cute mugs. I need to stop buying mugs until we sell more. We were doing really great with mugs for a while. Anyways, these are made exclusively for Neiman Marcus. So the pair of them, probably for a dollar, uh, is just probably gonna be a great profit, I hope. And those will probably go on eBay. I think Matthew looked them up. This will just go in the booth, a nice little plate. Love cheese plates from France. And I love the graphic there. And then we have this nice little pot. It reminds me of New Mexico for some reason. And we have this sculpture that's like made of Mississippi River mud. It reminds me of that, but I don't think that's how it was made. 
But I thought this was an interesting spout. If any of you know if this is like a different type of pitcher, leave a comment because I'm really interested. And I don't really know what to look up, but I trusted Matthew and I do think it's cute and would look good in our booth. So thank you guys for watching this antique booth haul and second chance treasures warehouse. Gosh, that's a mouthful. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this kind of content, check out our other haul videos. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. We would love to have you on board and thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody. Who wants a craw gator? Who wants a craw gator or a hobgoblin? I tell you what, that boy is such a craw gator. And he's such a hobgoblin. I don't know. Bye-bye!